Hi everyone, this is Shannon and Yang Kun. Let's introduce our Zenith project for you. So for our Zenith project, Yang Kun and I decided to try fluid painting together. There are some examples from Google. It's very beautiful. So after discussing like topics we're gonna to do, like um yeah, we finally make a decision. That, that is like doing this one, fluid painting. We made ten pieces of, of, fluid painting for this project, and this is the first two. The first one we used dark purple, black, white, gray, and some few gold color, but. I only put very little gold color in it, so we can barely see it. And the second one, we used. It's my favorite one. We used um baby blue. Um, uh, kind of red, but with a little pink, and light green, and some. Um, yellow, but it's not very light. These two I actually made it by myself, but Yin Kun also gave some advice for it.、Mm, so, for example, for the first one, um, besides, oh,、uh, instead of like pouring the color on the canvas, I use brush to brush it and make a um. An effect, like, um, gradually change from black to white, and I draw a little girl, uh, walking on the black ground, and she's like, um, having a kite, but the kite is, um,、uh, in a wind shape. And I, and did you see the bubble shape thing on it? This is very interesting because I used the dishwash liquid and just spray it on on it. And after it、um, dries, it forms shapes like bubbles, and it is very beautiful. And the second one, for the background, I used very shiny colors, and if you see the building, you'll see many shiny things on it, and it make makes me it made me think of universe. So I draw something. About universe on it, I draw many,、uh, like moon on the left top and other stars, and I draw a person's face to just <laughs> fall, fall off this piece of art, and I think it's wonderful. Because of quarantine, we have to do it separately. Therefore, we change our plan a little bit. Shina will do the flu painting, take pictures, and send them to me. I then draw on the pictures digitally. For this painting, we first decide our color scheme that we are gonna use vivid and bright colors. So we chose blue, azure, orange, pink, and green. We put the paint on chains. Place the chain as shape on the canvas and pull them up carefully. The final product gave me a festival feeling, so I drew some people celebrating Songkran, the water sprinkling festival on in South Asia. I also put some banana leaves on the left bottom and right top of the canvas. The major color used in this painting is black, white. Gray and dark yellow. We didn't use any tools in this, but just arrange how 
and where we put the, we pour the paint. You can see the green, white, and black color take half of the canvas, and the rest half is occupied by yellow. The gray color and yellow color interact in the middle of the canvas, creating a shape like the edge of a mountain. That's why I drew three small mountain climbers on the on the edge. For this painting, we decided to use green and red. The final product just reminded me of a Chinese fairy tale, the night color deer. So I put the outline of a deer on the left top of the canvas and drew some branches and flowers on the right. And there is our last painting. We chose yellow, pink, and red as our color scheme. We poured the three colors on the edge of the canvas and then used a knife to spread the color from top to bottom. It just looked like the lateral side of a rainbow cake. Finally, chains were used to create some patterns, which really inspired me of my drawing because the pattern reminds me of the flying dress of a dancer. That is why I drew a female flamenco coat dancer in the painting. And the final product was so pretty and glorious. And that's all. Thank you for watching our videos.